So here I am using pins to secure my fabric so that it doesn't move around while I'm working on the fabric that is marking and cutting. Then I'm measuring the, the length of the skirt which was 17 inches and just mark so that I have a reference point. So the point I'll mark up there is my waistline. And I measured my waist, it's 28, so I divided it by 4 and added 1 inch seam allowance. So 20 divided by 4, you get 7, plus 1 inch seam allowance, you get 8. So I marked 8. And then moving on to the hip line, um, it is usually 9 inches from the waist, so I am leaving 1.5 inches up there for the waistband and just marking my 9 inch mark as the hip, the hip line. Then I just uh, connect the dots and mark my, my hip measurement, I'm just drawing this line so that I have a reference point. So I mark my measurements which will be 10 because I got my hip measurement to be 40 and I divided it by 4. Then for the length, I'll just minus the hip measurement by 5 or by 1 inch, whichever way you can, you will like or will be more comfortable for you. And then you mark and just connect the waistline to the hip line and to the length of the skirt and then if you are uh, doing the front piece make sure you take down the the waistline by half an inch so I'm just marking half an inch from the waistline and drawing it to the other end so that you have like a slanted front and then I'm just trying to make the line caviar then you're going to cut after you have your one side you're going to just put it over the other fabric folded fabric and just trace it and cut So this is my front piece and then the other piece I cut into half so I'll have two back pieces because I want my zipper to be at the back. And so first, so the sides, um, connect the waistband then come and install the zipper and I'll show you how it looks like. so you remember I showed you that for the front piece you'll have to take down half an inch yeah so I'd forgotten so I'm just going to take it down now just cut it so I've just marked here a half inches then you do it back out commission so this is the skirt I'm not using a lining guys because you know the situation me I can't go out and buy lining right now so and I didn't have any left after I did the wrap skirt so I've just connected the front piece and the back pieces now I have also pinned down the waistband so that I'll show you after I sew. So I've just pinned them down, I want to sew it and then connect the 
not connect like insert the zipper and join the back part of the of the skirt so this is how it looks after i have connected not connected sewed down the waistband now I want to, sorry i want to join this see so we went to join Kukunyuma and put a zipper a zipper zipper I am very terrible at installing zippers but let me see how I'll do this time and then after I'm done I'll just help so, so I decided to hem it first so I'll just fold it folded it twice like one two and then sort the hem now I want to install this zipper my god I suck I really suck at this I wish I could film it but <laughs> I suck. I really suck. When I say I really suck, hmm. so I've just measured like roughly where my zip is going to end around here. So I marked. So I'm going to sew. Okay, did, did you see that? Okay, yeah, roughly my zipper ends here. So I marked. Forgive my dog and our pressure cooker. What's I mean? So then I'm going to sew it out like this. So I have sewed the back. This is for the zipper, so I've sewed here, so I'm just going to press here down with an iron box. I'm going to iron it down and then also iron it all through the side. So go up, back at you, back at the waist. I am back, so I ironed the mini down, this seam down, and also to the sides up to the waistband so that I can install this zipper visuri. So let me try pinning it down to the skirt. Then I show you. This is how I've pinned it down. So I'm going to try to sew heavy. Pinning it down is not a problem. We sew this thing. Ikitu, ikitu. Okay. I got in the carriage to show you the last. <sighs> this thing is not easy, guys. For me at least. What is, what is 